Qualcomm Linux is a Yocto-based release that makes it easy to develop customizable build solutions for your devices that run on Qualcomm system on chip. The Qualcomm Linux release integrates the third-party open source software, Qualcomm open source software, Qualcomm proprietary software binaries, and Qualcomm proprietary firmware into a single usable distribution ideal for developing end-to-end -end solutions on platforms such as Qualcomm RB3 Gen2 powered by the Qualcomm QCS6490 system on chip. The Qualcomm Linux release is designed to make it easy for you to discover the capabilities of the distribution, including inspecting the release structure, guides, and docs to better understand how the features are integrated in the software stack. Furthermore, you can follow the step-by-step -step documentation available for downloading the software, building the software, and flashing the Qualcomm RB3 Gen2 board to quickly get up and running with your development journey. A key benefit to Qualcomm Linux release is the easy access to the Yocto board support package or BSP layer and reference distribution via publicly available sites. Qualcomm Linux makes it easy as it aligns with development processes for Yocto and also aligns with common open source frameworks. The software distribution follows an iterative public release model via GitHub, bringing in improvements to the processes, software frameworks, and principles of creating distributions and use of open source software. To help you understand the Yocto-based Qualcomm Linux, we will introduce you to the Yocto metadata layers, build and sync methods, and flashing the distribution to the device. First, we are going to guide you through the MetaQCOM HWE metadata layer, which provides software support for enabling your device with Qualcomm technology. This is a Yocto BSP metadata layer that contains recipes to support Qualcomm Technologies hardware support components and value-added software components. You can find the MetaQCOM HWE metadata layer on GitHub. Go to the GitHub site and you will see that the recipes are grouped under the various recipes hyphen technology directories. The classes directory contains BitBake classes that provide useful functionalities within this BSP metadata layer. Some important functionalities include ESP and UKI image generation, which are required for packaging a kernel image, and a BitBake class for handling pre-built packages distributed by Qualcomm. The machine directory shows the machine configuration file to be used for the Qualcomm RB3 Gen2 platform. Linux kernel 6.6 LTS is supported for Qualcomm Linux release. The kernel recipe can be found under the path MetaQCOM HWE Recipes Kernel Linux. This recipe is selected to be built by the QCM6490.com file as follows. Kernel device tree variable in QCM6490.com file includes all the device tree files to generate a device tree binary image. Additionally, the kernel tech DTBOs variable in QCM6490.com file includes all the additional device tree binary overlays. The firmware recipes for Qualcomm RB3 Gen2 are under this path, MetaQCOM HWE, Recipes Firmware, Firmware. This directory is available when the Qualcomm Linux source code is synced and it includes recipes for boot firmware, subsystem firmware binaries, DSP libraries, and deploying the pre-built firmware. The recipe package group firmware QCM6490.bb includes the artifacts from firmware QCOM DSPSO and firmware QCOM HLOS FW in the rootfs image generated. The artifacts from firmware QCOM boot bins are deployed at the images folder. 
which enables Qualcomm Linux build system to generate a flashable image using either Qualcomm Download Tool, also known as QDL, or PCAT Flashing Tool. There are two methods to replicate the sync and build for this Qualcomm Linux release. You can build with the Qualcomm Software Center command line interface or QSC CLI, or you can use Bitbait commands via the repo utility. Let's go through both methods and you can choose the build method that is easier for you. The QSC CLI is a command line tool that will help you replicate the reference build for the Qualcomm Linux release in three simple steps. First, you will install QSC CLI, then download the Qualcomm Linux release, and finally, build the downloaded workspace. Let's install the QSC CLI with the following steps. First, install curl by running the following command sudo apt install curl. Then, download the Debian package for QSC CLI with this command. Once downloaded, you can install the package. Now, log in to QSC CLI with your username by using the following command. You now have successfully logged in. Once the QSC CLI utility is installed, you can proceed to download the reference workspace using the download command with QSC CLI. Now run the following command to download the release that you need. Here, we are downloading the QCM 6490 LE 1.0 with the release ID and distribution you see here. Now that you have successfully downloaded the release, you can compile the reference workspace by running the compile command. If the workspace is already built using QSC CLI, run the following command to recompile your workspace. You may prefer to build the MetaQCOM HWE workspace using Bitbake build commands and the repo utility instead of using the QSC command line interface. This workflow will be useful for users who intend to integrate the MetaQCOM HWE BSP layer in a workspace with multiple layers. First, download and initialize the repo by running the following command. Next, you can sync reference workspace using repo utility by running this command. After initializing and syncing with your repo utility, you will have the directory. Now, use the bitbake command to build the environment. As the build progresses, you will see the machine QCM6490, the SDK machine x86-64, the distro QCOM VLAN, the debug build as 0, and the performance build as 0. Next, run the bitbake target command. In this case, we will use the Qualcomm multimedia image target. Now, we are going to go over the steps for flashing your Qualcomm RB3 Gen2 platform with the build images using the Qualcomm download or QDL tool. You will find a QDL tool at the following locations. For this example, we will use the command to find the QDL and flash the images to the Qualcomm RB3 Gen2 platform. You will see partition 1 is now bootable, meaning that you have successfully flashed the build images to the device. Now, 
run the lsusb command to see the device information on the terminal window. You have now seen how to work with the Yocto BSP metadata layers replicate the build environment for Qualcomm Linux release using both the QSC command line interface and by using the repo utility and how to flash the build images to your device. With the current Qualcomm Linux software release, you can start developing end-to-end -end solutions on the Qualcomm RB3 Gen2 platform. Stay tuned as additional hardware platforms and SOC come online with upcoming releases, as well as new configurations and open source and proprietary software frameworks.